Good morning, you guys. It is 9.30 in the morning. I just dropped Jace off at school, went and got me some Starbucks really quick. Um, I am headed to my first dermatology appointment. I am so excited to go. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. The very first time I actually spoke about me and my skin condition. Um, if you're new here, you don't know, I do have hydrogenitis superativa, which is also known as acne inversa. Um, I shared that piece of me with YouTube two years ago, y'all, and those videos have done so well. I connected with so many new people. I have people in my DMs on Instagram all the time asking me about, like, when am I going to do an update? Um, this is that updated video. I did not expect that many people to even, like, connect with me about that. I did not know how um, common it was. Honestly, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I always felt like I was very alone in this situation. I never really felt like anyone could connect with me when it came to that. Um, I always felt like I was dirty. I was gross. Like, I just felt disgusting about it um if you don't know hydrinitis superativa you basically have boils that come in all the creases of your freaking body like my armpits underneath my boobs um in my groin area like anything that has a crease to it is gonna form a boil like so imagine a boil in a part of your body that closes all the time so like i'm constantly rubbing on it it's constantly aching and then don't let the boil explode on you if the boil pops just imagine like a very large like a golf ball sized pimple and then it pops there's nothing but pus and blood i used to get all over my clothes my favorite pants would be messed up my shirts like y'all don't even know the have it's just really really gross my sheets like especially if i'm sleeping one pops open like it's just very gross it's very like disgusting annoying irritating frustrating like all the words you can think of of that go with the word like annoyed that's that's what hydrogenized superativa is it's extremely uncomfortable it's hard to be in public places because you don't know what's going to happen if you do have a flare-up um and as of currently you guys since for the people that have been asking for updates i have not had any big bad flare-ups because my doctor prescribed me um uh, minocycline i'm taking the 100 milligram capsules i've been taking them um once a day every single day and y'all like two months ago i was out and I didn't have any more refills, so I had to, like, see the doctor to get another refill. Y'all, it took me a month and, like, a week and a half to get into that appointment. So I was um, not with my medication for that those, like, 40, I'd say about 42 days. And, y'all, I was so sick. Like, I was, like, I felt like I was nauseous. Y'all, Loki thought I was pregnant. Like, I was just sick to my stomach. I could not eat anything. I constantly had to throw up. I couldn't even drink water without, like, feeling disgusting. Like, feeling like I wanted to throw up. Like, it was so bad. And I did not know that that medication had any, like, you know, side effects to it. Because I've been taking it every single day for about four months now. So I told my doctor about, like, those side effects when I finally did see him. And he was like, honestly, bro, like, you need to go ahead and see you a dermatologist. Like, you need to, like, you need to go see, like, a skincare professional and see what they have for you so that's where I'm at now I'm at my first dermatology appointment I'm excited to see like what they can offer me I am a little nervous because I've seen you know other people on YouTube that have the same condition that I have that have you know shared about it and stuff and they see a dermatologist and they don't really have too many answers for them I'm hoping that my dermatologist will have some answers um, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me honestly y'all know I'm just not getting into vlogging I do not see myself holding this damn camera and walking around and talking to the doctor with it like I'm gonna I'm be real with y'all right now I just don't see me doing that like that's so weird to me and I get it I understand the vloggers I understand the vlog lifestyle I'm just not getting into it and I, I like honestly don't see myself like carrying this camera in there like I'll probably have my phone and I'll get some clips of the office and stuff but I'm not about to share too much and especially if I need to like you know show them like under my boob and if I need to show them like you know my skin condition and stuff which I'm sure I do then like I'm not gonna like you know I'm basically gonna go in there you know talk to the doctor um and whatever I learned I'll come back on camera and share it with you guys um yeah my appointment is in like 10 minutes so I gotta go Hey y'all, so I just came from my appointment and I learned so much. Okay, so first of all, she was telling me that I need to be on a low glycemic. Over oh, here's a light better right here. Y'all see me better right here? Like y'all can answer me. Anyway, she said I should be on a low glycemic diet. Um, I need to eat less carbs, less sugar, more protein, more veggies, more fruits. So I'm going to do that starting like immediately. Um, she also is going to prescribe me a new medicine called Roxy and I'm going to see how that works for me. Um, but she was telling me that it's a, a chronic disease, like it's not going away anytime soon. I'm going to be going through this for the rest of my life, which I already know that I've done so much research on 
um, Hydrate Night Supertiva, like, girl, trust me, I know, I know the struggle. She did say if I wanted to, I could try Accutane, and, you know, Accutane is like an acne medication, but she said it works really well for um, HS patients, but if I'm on Accutane, she said I have to take two forms of birth control because it does cause serious birth defects, and, um... I'm not down with the birth control, y'all. Like, I cannot take it. Like, I was on it in high school for literally no reason. Shout out to my mama, because I was not sexually active in high school at all. Anyway, I was on that uh, birth control back then, and y'all, I, I used to be so messed up. It used to mess up my stomach. Um, I had acne. Like, I was just looking crazy in high school, all, all because of birth control. So, I really don't want to do the Accutane. Um, so, I'm going to go with the Roxy, see how it works. If the Roxy is like, you know not doing what it needs to do i'm gonna just go right back on over to minocycline because honestly i've had no issues with that medication besides when i got off of it and i had the worst like side effects from it but taking it consistently i've been i've been great and also with the roxy i have to take it every single day just like the minocycline so it's kind of like you know whatever i just want to i don't know i'm just trying all the options out right now and sharing it with you guys so I'll let you guys know how the Roxy works. Um, if you do have this condition and you want to go see a dermatologist or anything like that, I definitely highly recommend the Minocycline as of now. Like, I've been having great results with it. She's also going to prescribe me some wipes to use when I pick it up from the pharmacy, of course. You guys can see what I'm talking about. But so far, so good. It was a really good appointment. She was super nice. The office was super nice. Like, it was, it was a good experience. Let me see your good sticker. Let me see. Oh, why are you my arm? Nice. You was being a good boy today? Yeah. Okay, so I'm editing this video for YouTube right now, y'all. And this is my normal skin, right? Like, normal, like regular. And then as you keep going, out of nowhere, my skin just becomes really clear, really glowy. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, why is my skin changing? So I hit up um, Aubriana, if you guys know Aubriana Noble or Aubriana's Curls here on YouTube and she's on Instagram. She said that our camera has a filter on it. I didn't know cameras had fil like beauty filters on them. So this is with the filter. I guess the filter like randomly comes on. I don't know if it's on like auto or something because right here there's no filter. But then right here there's a filter and that's annoying so i need to figure out how to turn that off so sorry if you guys see my skin fluctuating because i did not know that cameras had filters on them or automatic filters this is so weird hey you guys okay so now i'm in my house and now i need to pack because i just found out that i'm going to new york city tomorrow and then i'm going to philadelphia the following day so um yeah i don't think i want to try out a new medication uh, while I'm in a different city and everything so I think I'm just going to pick up my prescription when I come back home so that's the new plan right now so I'm going to pick up my prescription when I come back home and then I'm going to try everything out and then I'll let you guys know like how I'm feeling um, how it's working and everything like that so yeah, I just want to give you guys an update and a proper closing on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching um, Jace is taking his nap right now so I'm kind of talking kind of low but um yeah that's all i had to say let me know how you guys like this vlog y'all i have not vlogged in so long so um let me know how you guys are feeling it the sun is like going in and out so if it looks kind of yellow now the sun is back so whatever but um yeah let me know how you guys like this vlog i will be vlogging a lot more um sharing some things with you guys and all of that so thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.